my name is Lily Jackman. I am the ALVAD coordinator for New Mexico Heart Institute and the Heart Hospital of New Mexico. Today we will be going over our driveline dressing change for our ALVAD patients. We are a HeartMate free implant center, so we do um, implant the patients here in our heart hospital. And then we teach their caregivers how to do this process as well. So part of our jobs as the inpatient nursing staff taking care of a new implanted patient is also participating in the caregiver's education as we get this patient ready to go home and be functional on their own. So today we'll go over the steps of the driveline dressing change. It is a sterile dressing change. The first step will be to go ahead and get your kit and you're going to get hats and masks on everybody in the room. If you're not already wearing a mask, the mask will be supplied with in the kit. So to get started, we're gonna go ahead and open our kit. The first layer of our kit is going to have the masks, hats, and gloves. If we weren't already wearing masks, you'd wanna place a mask on yourself. You will always want to place a mask on your patient. So we'll put the mask on our patient. And you'll want to put a bonnet or a hairnet onto everyone in the room including your patient. Not to me. And then you do have clean gloves and sterile gloves within this kit. You can use these or you can use the um, hospital provided gloves. So today I'm gonna go ahead and use what we have in the kit. So you'll want to use your clean gloves to remove the old dressing. You always want to make sure your patient ends with an anchor in place. This patient did not have an anchor, so we will be providing him one at the end. You always wanna inspect the site and look for any kind of drainage or signs of infection and make sure that the previous person's dressing was intact just to ensure that we are reiterating education and passing on to the patients and their caregivers the proper way to do these dressing changes. You are part of their learning experience as well. And so anytime you can um, participate with the patient and their family members learning and education, please do so. First step, we're gonna go ahead and remove the pants that go underneath. You can just toss those away. And then you can go ahead and remove the dressing. If you're having issues getting the dressing off, we can use some tape remover. Um, if this disc does not come off with your dressing, you can just reach in after and pull it off. Looking at it and looking at the dressing for any drainage and then looking at the site for any signs of redness or irritation or infections. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and open our sterile field, only touching the blue, opening it up like this and like this. Now this kit, it has everything you need within it. There is your silver disc underneath the dressing there. You have gauze, you have chlorhexidine. You also have your skin barrier and a saline wipe. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take off my clean gloves to apply my sterile gloves. So now we have our sterile gloves on. We've got all of our fingers fixed and we're ready to go. So touching and looking in this, inside the kits, there's your disc, your dressing, your gauze, and your cleaning swipes. First step is opening your lollipop with your chlorhexidine. And you're gonna just start from the center of the dress, or center of the exit site going out, making sure this is a nice, clean, wet surface area. And then once you're out, we don't wanna go back in and bring all those germs back into the middle. So now you're done with this lollipop, just toss it away. Then we're gonna go ahead and take our second chlorhexidine lollipop and do it again. The second time I want you to really make sure that exit site's cleaned. If there's any additional um, drainage on the driveline, you can get that off as well. Um, if there is not drainage, go ahead and avoid chlorhexidine on the driveline as it can break it down over time. But if it's dirty and, and they're here for an infection, by all means, get that area cleaned. We're gonna go ahead and then as that dries, we need to get our disc ready. So our disc is now a square. It's a square silver long disc. This silver is going to activate with moisture and we want to ensure that the silver side is what's touching our patient. So we're gonna lift up our dressing, calling this our clean, clean glove now, our drive line, excuse me, placing that around the exit site. 
It does not matter where the slit comes out as long as it's intact and it's not gonna go anywhere. We can then use our saline wipe to get the disc a little bit wet. If you're having drainage or bleeding, this is unnecessary. If you have a patient with a nice healed dry line exit site, go ahead and squeeze a little bit of that saline onto the disc. That activates the silver and pro provides that antimicrobial help. You're then gonna lift up your drive line and clean out from the inside out. And once you're out, you don't wanna go back in because all of these germs would be put back into the inside of that dressing. As this continues to dry, we want to get our skin prep ready. You wanna make sure the chlorhexidine has completely dried before applying your skin prep. This is also gonna be a lollipop that you can open. And then you're gonna go around the site that you anticipate touching the, the tape. go and now that's going to dry while that dries you can kind of determine whether or not you need your gauze if you have a nice healed driveline exit site you can skip the gauze if there is bleeding or drainage you can use it um, in the most functional way that you know how there's two slitted gauzes so you could go around the exit site like so and then there's one four by four you could put on top now this dressing's a little bit smaller than the gauze, so if you were to put gauze on there, you'd wanna fold it in order to fit it all underneath the dressing. So now this dressing, after looking at the site, we are ready. So it's dried from the chlorhexidine, it's dried from the skin prep, we've gotten our moisture on our, in our silver disc, and the silver side is face down. We're gonna aim the disc to land right in the middle of this window. And you can ask your patient, where it's comfortable for them to have the exit site facing. Um, it's gonna be, if it's a new patient, they're gonna be still exploring where this exit site is comfortable. So you can help them with some of that, that exploring. You're gonna put this paper side down, anchor one side with the disc aiming for the middle. You're gonna then pull your tabby and allow this to fall into place. Okay, now you can pull the tabby on the other side and allow this guy to fall into place. So now you have a nice intact first layer of your dressing. Your last part of the dressing is the pants. These are gonna go underneath your drive line. And you can pull a tabby on one side, let that fall, open this, pull the tabby on this side. And that is what your dressing is going to look like. The final step, we'll be applying our anchor and we'll show you the final product. So the final step of our driveline dressing change is to apply this anchor. You're gonna grab a Foley anchor. This is, does not have to be sterile. You're going to open it up. If the skin is feeling a little bit um, oily, you can use the alcohol pad to dry out the skin a little bit. And then it also comes with some skin prep to help stick the, stick the anchor on. This, this patient is very dry, so I'm going to skip both of those, but those are optional items. So on this anchor, you're gonna want to place it somewhere where the patient is comfortable or your family member is comfortable. So it's either gonna be up here, um, likely it'll be a little lower, less close to the armpit, or you can do it down here, just wherever is comfortable. On the back is also a good spot. For demonstration purposes, I'm gonna put it up here where you can see it. So this also has tabbies, so you could anchor your, your anchor from one end, let it fall into place, anchor it from the other end, let it fall into place. You're then gonna bring your drive line, and you're going to, the, on one end there's a hole, the other end has the, the thing that you're gonna push through, the little plastic piece. So you're gonna pull this plastic piece into this hole. Pull it all the way through until it pops through and catches. Now, if this patient were to drop his equipment, the, the, the most of the heavy weight will land right here rather than our exit site. We wanna protect that exit site from trauma because trauma is the number one reason we have infections. So whenever you're gonna get your family member, your patient up, make sure there is an anchor in place. It is intact and the tabbies are pulled through. It is not falling off and then you are ready to go. All right, so that concludes our Alved driveline dressing change video. 
Just some safety tips. We will want to change this dressing anytime the patient takes a shower. Before a shower, we always want to inspect the driveline dressing, make sure that there are no open areas that allow water to touch the exit site. Water can be very dangerous to those exit sites as it can carry Pseudomonas, a terrible bacteria, and others as well. Um, and so we'll always want to coordinate with your nursing and, and support staff that you're going to need after that shower for that dressing change. The first three weeks, typically we do the dressing change daily, um, and that can deviate depending on the patient's needs. Once the patient goes home, they usually back off to every other day or whatever their shower schedule may be. Whenever you get these patients up to walk or get in the shower, you always want to make sure your driveline dressing is intact and still clean and that they have an anchor in place. The anchor is very important to keep in place because if the patient were to accidentally drop their equipment, this can pull on the site and create trauma, which trauma is the number one reason patients get an infection from that site. So always be mindful of your patient's anchor and always be mindful of that dressing when we are getting these patients up to be active. Thank you for uh, listening to this video today. You can reach me at lily.jackman2 at loveless.com or you can call my, off my office number with any additional questions. Have a wonderful week.